Hey guys, it is the kid T Rose, and I'm here doing another reaction video. This reaction video is going to be to Fourth Power, Fourth Impact, and this video is going to be for their X Factor audition. Um, looks like they're doing a Jesse J hit. Don't tell what song, I don't know. Uh, so we're gonna see. How are you? <laughs> oh my god! Ow! <laughs> Hello, 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 So who are you? We are the fourth power from wow. the Philippines. Wow! Hi! Hello! Nice to meet you. So who put the group together? We are sisters. Oh wow! Somebody did tell me that. And you all and you all live in England? No. No. We, we flew, flew all the way from the Philippines. No. And the other videos you can not really tell, but this video is so all standing side by side. Oh, I can tell. And how does it feel being up here now? Good? Yes, this is We're a like floating in the air. It's like a dream come true. <laughs> We've been competing in different places. Some people saying, just give up, you're not gonna make it. And we're like, no, we love this. We Bro, that's a long time. And this video just came out two years ago. So let's say 15 years. I'm gonna talk a little bit more about that at the end of it. We love X Factor UK. UK, and our ultimate dream is to perform in front of Simon Powell. Hello, we just arrived. Good luck. Thank you. I didn't know what car I Okay. Oh, my God, a reaction. Don't look at her, bro.
please tell me they speak in another language. I don't want to be that person, but obviously I feel like I have to be that person at this point. Please tell me they speak in another language. Just please. <laughs> Y'all forgive me, sister. Y'all forgive me, sister. Y'all leave her down there by herself. There I go. <laughs> Might show you a little too tight. Hit me some of this thing. I'm tight shirts. Wow. Wow. I'm here with the goods, I have to say. I was going to cut it off. But, um. Girls, you just absolutely took Wembley's roof off. say it's the British X Factor, you know, should it just be open to British people? And they've always said we welcome talent from all over the world. Yeah. Man, it's racist. Oh, incredibly vulnerable. Because somebody said they thought that I was being racist, that was racist. One of the best like, whoever said it, it should be closed off the book. Come on. You can't say nothing about that, dude. Why the British X Factor? Because we wanted to see you. Well, oh, apart from me, somebody what said else? That we wanted to see you. Queen Elizabeth. <laughs> <laughs> I can arrange that. Simon Ego then got boosted like trillion after that. Nick, yes or no? Two of my favorite girl band, so yes. Rita? You're like, sick. It's all of them for the yeses. They already said yes. You like, all of them for the yeses. Ass, and it's a yes from me. Fourth power, you have. The biggest four yeses we've ever given. You're not even going to put it. She said 2001. And her video I saw came out two years ago. And she was like, they were getting so much negativity. People telling them to give up all this and that. A lot of people don't understand that dreams, even though it's your dream, even though you may put your all into it, it may not happen overnight. It may not happen next month. It may literally take years for you to actually achieve that dream that you've been wanting. It took them, what was it, close to, let's just say 15 years to get there. That, that show was a whole new start to their career. Even though their career began 
in 2001, that was a whole new start. Like, a video has over 100 million views. Some of y'all being a little too sensitive towards reaction videos. Guys, that video was a whole new start to their career. It just, just be honest. Uh, people don't understand that even with reaction videos, we're reacting to obviously the video. Y'all should react to our reaction videos. I don't think some of y'all understood what a reaction video was. But other than that, guys, your dreams is your dream. It's your passion. If you go after it, you're more than likely going to get some negativity, especially if it doesn't happen immediately. If you're such a big fan of them, see that from them. Their dreams didn't happen overnight. You know, their dreams didn't just come up and, oh, the next day they were in the number one hit group. No, 15 years and they're on an audition for a whole nother thing. Like, they're not signed. Obviously, because if they were signed, they wouldn't be able to go there. So they're 15 years later, not even signed, and they're having to audition. Let this sink in, guys. Your dreams, you're going to get that negativity, if, especially if it doesn't happen so soon. You're going to get that to where you have to constantly tell people, this is what I want to do. This is my passion. This is my dream. Do you know how many times you're going to have to tell people that? Like, and seeing how they felt, seeing the one, I don't know who it was that dropped on on the ground. I can honestly feel like her moment of like, dang, this really happened for me. Like right now, as far as even, let's say YouTubers, me being a YouTuber, I want to act, direct. I love editing videos, writing scripts. I love doing this stuff. This is my dream. This is my passion. I'm not making no money from this right now. But I know that I have to take it each video at a time, obviously. They had to take it each song, each performance, each cover at a time, and they got it. It may not took them what you would have thought. I just met them. Like, just found out about them. I met them. Found out about them. Just imagine you've been a fan of them since 2001. And you now seeing your favorite group actually get there. This I feel like for even my subscribers right now. My next goal is hopefully a thousand subscribers. And once I get that, even like a hundred would be nice. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know them seeing their each milestone they took made them feel like, okay, I'm getting closer. That's what, if you want to be a firefighter policeman. If you want to be a lawyer, if you want to be a doctor, every milestone you go through, celebrate. Celebrate it as a new start. You'd be like, okay, I want to be a, let's say you want to be a doctor. Okay, I'm, I graduated high school. I got accepted to college. Cool. Did college, going to my med school. Yes. It's a new beginning. I finished med school, got my doctoral. Um doing this if this i'm a doctor here or i'm a doctor there just celebrate it as a new start people don't understand like everywhere you go don't feel like it's just okay i did it no you celebrate it as a new start as a new beginning and keep going like this moment right here i know they felt that as a new beginning as a new start i felt that for them as a new start because obviously it was so, people have to understand that, like, with me being a YouTuber, just using myself for an example. Each video of having to break out of who I am, they have to break out of who they were on that stage. They went on their nerves. Then they end up performing, and they were a whole different group. And once they were done performing, they went back to who they were. People don't understand, like, when you want to be who you want to be, you have to be that person. You can't still be who you were when you first thought about being who you want to be. You have to become who you want to be. 
And like you just have to put yourself in that mind state. Because you may never know what may happen. You may never know if it may happen for you the next day. You never know if it may happen for you the next year. You just already have to start preparing yourself to be who you who you want to be and then be that person. You know what I'm saying? When you prepare, you think like, okay, I want to be a dancer. You, you figure out all the things you need. Like if you need some shoes, if you need all this and that. And once you even get the basics, you start being that dancer. Don't get up to where you go to an audition and be like, okay, I'm going to be that dancer. You have to always have that mind state that I'm that dancer. So when you go to the audition, you could be nervous if you want to. But then when it's time, you're that dancer. And then after that, you can go back to being nervous. So that's just the reality of seeing these girls. Like, these women. They were nervous. But they knew who they were and who they wanted to be. And they wanted to be there. They wanted to be that fourth power, fourth impact. So that's who they became. And then they went back to being nervous. But they were that's who they wanted to be. You know what I'm saying? So like I said, like, with me getting my subscribers, getting my views, anything, each milestone, I feel is good. When my video started making a start breaking a hundred views, I was like, okay. I'm I'm happy. When my subscribers hit the twenties, I was like, okay, you know, I'm getting up there. Just seeing me now on my videos versus how my videos are gonna be on the future, just imagine I'm using an iPhone or an iPad and some free software. Just imagine when I do get that thousand subscribers or I do get all those views and I, I'm sorry, are able to make money with doing what I love to do. Imagine how much love I'm going to put back into that. Like this setup is just this basic setup. Once I start making money and everything from this, I'm talking about I'm going to have a green screen. I'm going to have more monitors. I'm going to be able to do all my channels the way I want to. I have different cameras for different things. Like, I have so many ideas that I can't do right now, but I am who I am. You get what I'm saying? I want to be an entertainer. So, that's who I am. I'm an entertainer. So, you just have to understand, just put yourself, like, you have to use what you have. So, like I said, if you want to be a dancer and you got the basics, be a dancer. If you want to be a singer, if I say, be a singer. If you have an iPhone or Android phone... You can buy different mics for your phones and stuff like that. Different phones have different softwares where you can have beats or something like that where you can start singing like that or do cover videos. Just start with what what you have and let that work for you. Or you can just constantly keep complaining saying I don't have something and then you'll just be wherever you always are right now. So that's just something about a little inspiration. If you such a Fourth Impact fan, let them be your inspiration. Look at their positivity instead of some of y'all negativity. Because I really was like, y'all are really disliking this video. Like, I really couldn't believe that because y'all were mad because I was saying how I feel about the video. About the video, about the group. You supposed to react to the reaction video of the person's reaction. Not about what they're saying, foremost of you trying to overfill your feelings. Some of you aren't going to be able to live your dreams because you're too sensitive. You can't be sensitive because like she said, if they would have listened to all that negativity of people telling them to stop, they wouldn't have been who they were. Y'all wouldn't even be knowing them. They're not sensitive like you. Some of you are. That's for anybody. Beehive fans, anybody. If you're going to be somebody's biggest fan, don't be sensitive. You have to understand what comes with the territory. That's reality. But like, comment, subscribe, and love, peace, and music, and I'm out.